Every time it rains, it pours pennies from heaven. No, not pennies from heaven. Pennies to a game show. Penny to a million, an early game show. Art and I are going to review this old show as seen on the Vintage Film Channel. So welcome. Art, did you uh, enjoy pennies to a million? Well, you know, I actually did. Um, there was apparently only about 20 episodes of this. Um and it was just previous to all the scandals. <laughs> and again, it didn't offer that much money because a million pennies is what, 10 grand? Uh, 10, but, 10 grand. Yeah. But now, wait, yeah. wait just a second. In, in 1955, 10 grand was a lot of money. Well, it's two, year, maybe it was, two, two or three years salary for some people. Not, not bad. I mean, it's not like a million dollars today, a million right. pennies. You know, but, that was the gimmick. Penny it, to a million. I, but, I automatically thought of a million dollars. It was a million pennies. But $64,000 question, that was big time. I mean, that, that was... 64, yeah, and interestingly enough, it was only a couple of years later, right? $64,000 right. question. Yeah, yeah, and, and all the other scandal shows that had a lot of money that you could make a lot yeah. of money with. Uh, yeah. But in any so, event, it was kind of fun. Let me, uh, let me uh, get rid of this uh, cover shot. Yeah, over here. play some of it. And... Um, so 1950, there's a 52 penny, but I think all of the 20 episodes appeared in 55. So somebody dug into their pocket and maybe they weren't getting. <laughs> they hey, couldn't maybe get they didn't make 55. pennies in 53 and 54. Or they, didn't have, they had a production assistant who just couldn't be bothered thinking about it. But yeah. also Rolly cigarettes with the coupons. I remember uh, some in-laws who smoked Rollies and were collecting coupons. And the coupons, uh, yeah. yeah. Coupons everybody everybody said that they were collecting the coupons for the uh, cancer operation. Well, for yeah, the and and you'd win you'd win a <laughs> cigarette box and a and a Schaefer pen if you if you didn't well, win the million pennies. Right. Yeah. So the, oh, that's uh, the game of carton cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the the host of the show was Bill Goodwin, who right. was a recognizable name at the time. Yeah. Yeah. People knew who he was. Yeah, he was a radio announcer for years and years and years for uh, lots of programs, including Burns and Allen. And in fact, he went on uh, after the show to be their announcer on TV for a while before Harry Von Zell. Yes. Okay. But in any yeah. event, it, you know, it, it was, uh, you could bet your bottom dollar or bottom penny that uh, the first uh, uh, 26 uh, questions because it only doubled to like one penny, two pennies, three, four pennies, six, yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah, so there was like six dollars at stake. All those they got right, uh, yeah. but hey, they had four contestants, and uh, it was a really you know, uh, low tech, but it was it was kind of fun, and the people were interesting, and he's a great go, host. Go forward, Art, jump forward on this video to about, um, about I think it was about uh, five minutes or se seven minutes, maybe. There was a band. Oh. And what they did is they would have some of the questions would involve um, a music, like uh, like an early name that tune. Oh. Well, and you, so they you, had well, a band. You should have, you should have asked me. You should have asked me to jump ahead like a buck 84. Because, I, you know, that's the only way you know how to do that. <laughs> um, anyway, I thought that was an interesting um, twist to yeah. this game show, is the music questions. Mm -hmm. And of course, they have elimination, like all game shows, they have elimination, there'd be empty seats there, Yeah. and then yeah. they'd bring in new contestants, and the old uh, winner, whoever won the first round, would come back to the later game show and play the winner of the next round, that kind of thing. Right. It wasn't a bad game. It was fun. The questions were, like all game shows, relatively simple, except for Jeopardy, where the questions got really... They were noted for odd questions and difficult no, questions. No, Jeopardy, Jeopardy weren't questions. They were answers. Pardon me. You Je are correct. <laughs> Jeopardy, Jeopardy was answers, not questions. And they did that because of all the scandals previous to that. Uh, yes, that's and, true. And so they came up with a twist. Oh, we're not going to have them... Give us the answer. We're gonna we're gonna give them the answer. Yeah. Okay. They have yeah. to figure out the question. Uh, but yeah. Great, great so this is a total of forty dollars and ninety six cents they're up to, at this <laughs> this point because it's four thousand ninety six pennies. So it, it was yeah. just ridiculous. It went on and on. But quite frankly, uh, they had very engaging uh, contestants. Uh, I forget. Which... Yeah, they were real. 
real people, right. or at least theoretically real people who had auditioned and right. uh, were experts or from Sheboygan, Iowa, or someplace like that. Yeah, it made it it made it kind of uh, interesting. And you notice, of course, uh, like many early TV shows, the sponsor was integrated into oh. all the shots, whether it be on the on the uh, background information, in this case, in front of each one of the mics. Uh, sure. Wow, $163.84. But it looks <laughs> like a very impressive number, doesn't it? Let's get a little further down the line. Uh, this is, I think, uh, the next set. But anyway, good, good one was really... I thought an outstanding host. Uh, uh, he was, yeah. and he, he, as I say, he had a good career. Yeah, uh, was relatively well known in the television industry. Had a uh, did a lot of hosting kinds of things. I think we just saw the band go right. by, and um, and the a announcers, uh, J Johnny Olson was uh, Johnny Olson, and I think it was Jay Stewart were the announcers on the mm -hmm. show. Uh, never see them. But they are they were the voices of I think it was NBC and they were famous in their own right as uh, uh, Johnny Olson was a, a name announcer. Well, any, anyway, uh, to anybody who's uh, listening today, uh, you'll find uh, pennies uh, to a million and lots of other really interesting stuff that Grace has has uh, salvaged and, and uh, uh, made really, really, really good uh, updates to for the Vintage Film Channel. Uh, go to her YouTube Vintage Film Channel or she has a VintageFilmChannel.com. Subscribe, tell her you like her, something. But I think, and also as a, uh, you should subscribe to us as well because we're, we're nice people and you want to take care of us. And it makes us happy uh, to do this. But I think, John, that uh, pennies to heaven, we put in more than our two cents worth. Oh, very good, Art. Well, so, God bless you. Everybody... I hope you all win a million pennies. Right. And and go back to the very beginning where you can hear John doing pennies from heaven, which was, in fact, the theme song. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.